Welcome to Silver Road Traveler. You guys know I love to travel, talk all things travel. So for those road trips, I decided to finally pick up a dash cam. Let's begin by unboxing the Red Tiger F7NP dash cam. The packaging is clean and straightforward, featuring the dash cam's picture and the Red Tiger logo. Some key features are highlighted on the box, such as 4K resolution, app control, and GPS tracking. The bottom, I don't show it here in the video, but the bottom mentions that it's a 4K plus 1080p dual channel dash cam with built-in Wi-Fi, GPS, and super night vision. Get everything out the box here. Take another little quick look. Now, the first thing we're gonna take out is the suction mount. It's equipped with a GPS module and uses a rotating switch to secure it to the windshield. Simple and effective. Let's take out the dash cam. Just provide some instructions on the back of it. It gives you some contact information, also some suggestions, suggestions on bench checking. On this side, you see the up and down with the mode, and on the other side, the power with the micro SD. Got your vents, top. You have that's where your suction goes into. That's the camera lens, and you know to show you where 4K. On top, it's also a connection for your rear camera and your power button. Nice packaging full of your user manuals. Has your static film there, clean off the windshield. There's two pieces of that. Put that over there. And you just flip through the manual if you choose. This envelope has several quick guides. Also gives instructions on how to go to the website and also how to install the app. Quick start guide, you can flip through it. I suggest you do. I usually don't use manual, I just play with it first, but go through it, check it out. It's no harm in knowing what to do. All right, on the other side of the box, we have the wiring and the camera, our rear camera. See the rear camera there, there's that film. Remember to take that off before you install. And that's your sticky, that's what you're gonna stick it to your rear windshield in the back. As you can tell with all video, it's usually color-coded yellow. You have one more bag, and in this bag you have your power adapter. Shows you right there. It's the Type C power that plugs into the Type C power port. Has enough wire to run, and you plug that into your power adapter. For your Gen Z folks, we used to call that our cigarette lighter adapter. I suggest you take a look around, play with it, see where your connections are at. You see, there's where it connects right there. Nice and simple. Very, very easy install. Has some more little cable support. You choose to use those. Put that over there. And lastly, you have your little pry bar. That's to help you put the wire and hide your wire through the compartment of your car. When it comes to installing the dash cam, first thing I suggest to do is a dry fit. See right there, I just plugged it up before I install it, just to look at it, get used to it. See yeah, that, I'm just messing around with it. Make sure everything looks good. All 
I already claimed my spot out. And remember I was telling you about how this suction mount is a little different. You push it in and then you twist it to the side. It was kind of, and there you go. And now we're ready to hide our cables. The wiring toolbar helps you neatly tuck away the cables, ensuring a clean installation. The rear camera connects to the front unit and the power cable plugs into your car's 12 volt socket with a spare USB port available for other devices. Now I went back and fixed all those wires. There you see my camera in the back. It's in the front. I won't go through every little feature, but you can see the window for the rear camera and the back. Now let's see how the camera performs in real world conditions. During the day, the front camera can capture lights in place clearly, even at a distance. And the way I have mine set up, you see your date. Have it where you can see it, the time. And if you notice your speed. And you have your GPS direction. This is a rear camera. Now again, I suggest cleaning your windshield and your rear window to make sure your picture and everything looks good it looks great yeah i can see the edge of my vehicle so if anybody is rear in me get some video of that let's look at some night driving isn't that beautiful a little glare with the uh, the lights make some adjustments in there also remember that the sound is being captured inside the car it looks good like I said the only thing uh, you might have to make some adjustments to get the star look see what the, the vehicle behind me you can't distinguish two lights I would just have to you know make some adjustments but it looks great it's a super night vision All right, everyone, let's wrap this up. The Red Tiger F7 NP dash cam delivers solid performance, especially consider its price point. Front camera's 4K resolution provides clear, detailed footage, while the rear camera, though not as high quality, still offers good readability. Whether for day or night driving, the dash cam is a reliable choice. So please like, comment, subscribe for more Silver Road Travel videos. Peace.